you know, it's not an easy one, is it? I know there is a gap, but this is all or nothing, this. But he's made it. He's made it, one and he's on the mark. So John Higgins may be ruined that decision to try and put the pink safe rather than concentrate on the snooker. Say it had to be made. It's a type of shot that I think you'd have had a safety shot. He may not have played it, but he didn't fancy getting back to the ball end. And the only safe ball on the table, which he's going to need, 16, is the pink. Yeah, I mean, I, I, we go back to the shot again. He, the easy snooker in behind the green, but if he gets the snooker and puts the pink safe, he's. You know, he's odds on favourite. Now he's not. Yeah, I think, so. from my own point of view, I think the, the way the Reds were situated, if you got a, a real tight snooker there, it'd been almost impossible not to leave your opponent a pot on. But, yeah, I mean, he, he, he took uh, your advice, Dennis, and it's not your fault it didn't work out. <laughs> Well, 22. will that pink come to his rescue? If he gets that far, he could quite easily move it when he pots the green, but we're looking quite a few shots ahead, but 23. he'll already be working that out. How will I bring that difficult pink into play? And if he gets as far as the green, he may do it when he pots the green. This is the shot that we uh, mentioned there. It seemed just straightforward, just, <coughs> just misjudged it. 31. Well, and having another look at that, John, it looked as if to get tight in behind the green, he had to maybe just play it with a little slight stun, which made it more difficult. So, you know, on second thoughts, let's have a look at this. Was he just playing? I mean, to my mind, no, no matter how he plays it, he, it's imperative he got the snooker. And he didn't, and... 36. Well, even though he's still 16 points behind Barry Hawkins, I'd make him slight favourite now for this frame. Now, this is the key positional shot. If he gets nicely onto the yellow, he'll be able to pot the yellow, leave the green, and then play the cannon on the pink. And that looks pretty good. So... 44. He's got a couple of ways of going at this to develop the pink. Let's see which way he chooses. As I said, pot the yellow, leave an angle on the green, pot the green, and just nudge the pink out. You're still going to be on the brown. Uh, this is the key shot. If you can pull this off, it will be a steal, this. Now, you may play for the brown and then move the pink. Yeah, he felt that that might be a better option. 49. But has he come far enough across? Maybe not. It was just his choice. He could have played the green and moved the pink, but he decided, let's try and get on the brown, and then I'll move the pink. But he's not on the brown in such a way to do that, so he'll just have to play for the blue and try and move the pink when he pops the blue.
53. <clears throat> he only needs the pinks or he might leave a double. So the double Shit. to pinch a frame that it looked almost certain the defending champion was going to win. No, it was close, but he's left it fairly safe, though. Well, six points behind now, John Higgins. He needs to keep this pink safe. He's trying to get this cue ball behind the black, but the most important thing is to get the pink safe which he's done, although twice across with the pink isn't the most difficult safety shot for, for Barry Hawkins. Played it well. Well, I say played it well. He didn't actually hit the pink quite thick enough, and this pink is possible. That's a natural angle for the white to go towards the right middle pocket. If he pots the pink, the white will go towards that. He's playing it with a touch of side. Where's the cue ball going? Well, he's caught the jaw. I don't think the cheer off the other tables helped John Higgins there. It was a big shot on the pink, and all of a sudden there was a big roar from the other side of the screen. But Barry Hawkins needs this frame, and the noise again. This to go back to two frames in front, and he's got it. A frame he never looked like winning, but Barry Hawkins has taken it. And with one frame left to play in this session, the world champion trails by five frames to three. Yes, and he's guaranteed John Higgins to be going into tonight's uh, concluding session behind. But how far behind? That was the question. One more frame to play in this morning's opening session. And once again, Hawkins, bizarrely, 52 points behind as we join this.